be able to get it done before they left, but, but we got it this far. But it needs the the highlights put into it. There, do the same thing over there. Hey, hey come on in. Oh, he can come in too. Hi, Mr. Surreal. Hi, Joe. Josh. Hey. What has he got on his forehead? I don't know. What happened on your watch? What? He said Papa did it. I didn't did it. Somebody did it. it wasn't me. Not did me. you did it, Ryan? No. no. So how was your... got a scam on it. How was your adventures in the metro? You don't have shoes. I can't go down. No. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Are you on your best behavior? How come? Mm -hmm. Are you all done with your session? Well, session's over, but I have the LCCMR, the Legislative Water Commission, the uh, Clean Water Council, Steering Committee. Name a few. Committee, committee, and more committee. Who do I go back to own? All the time. So, no, what is it, two months? Is she in a session? No, we're in session for five months. So. Then once session's done, you have all these other meetings. And stuff. What am I doing here, Mike? Well, Okay, you're supposed to be going with the grain. I go against the grain. Don't mm -hmm. go against the grain. That's naughty. Go with the grain, and you're just okay, like rub marks. Like it's the Republican way to go against the grain. Yeah. So like where you would be okay. getting. I thought you were going to take a picture. You got me working. <laughs> What's new, huh? What's new? <laughs> hey, what? At least. I know I came by it, uh, honestly, yeah. <laughs> I roped him into an awful lot of stuff. Roped him into, he roped me into stuff. Okay, you're going to get it so it was like highlights. Like somebody sat on it and rubbed their hand on it a whole bunch. I see. So it gets, it ends up being highlighted. You're doing a good job there, Mike. Well, you're supposed to be doing it. Yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have to show me a little more. <laughs> I didn't quite catch that yet. Yeah, you're <laughs> where's, where's the grant? Where's the grant? Hey, yes. What is this, a squirrel? Like trap or bait or what is that? That corn is taking on so much moisture, it won't feed through that thing no more. Well, that's not my fault you store it in a place that's wet. It wasn't short. It's humidity that's gotten to it. That's the only thing. Right. So I was looking at regular, uh, what do they call them? Uh, Feed grinders? Yeah, a regular grinder. Whoa! Uh, hammer mill. Hammer mill. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now you got a dusty butt, you know. 
All right, well, we found you guys. You're yes. busy working, so. Well, that doesn't mean you have to leave just because there's work going on. We're only going to be here a few minutes. I've only been here a few minutes. <laughs> okay. Where are you going now? Back to my house. Okay, well, we'll be there in a little bit. Bye, Papa. See you later. <laughs> okay, we're like on the end here. And we go. When I say with the grains, there's okay. But once the, that we brush this stuff on, the, it, it, it takes even what we did and it kind of mellows it out. It doesn't be as... It shows more contrast now than what it will once we put the oil in. Yeah, we'll turn it upside down in a minute. Now what do I do? <laughs> uh, take the appendix out. Scalpel. Just, wipe, just wipe it down. I gotta tell you one more thing as long as you got me on camera here. <laughs> I once, I worked for Cookie Transport and would go out on wrecks, on disasters. Uh, like a transport turned over or something, gas transport. So I was on a, a turnover one time and the only way we could get fuel out of the tank was to cut a hole in the, top, in the side of the tank and suck it out of there. So at that time we had all kinds of personnel on. Yeah, you keep telling the story. And I'm gonna get the rest of the tin lawyer telling the story. And the guy that was working with me from the DOT, he happened to be up teaching Mike's first responders in Brainerd a, a year or so later, and the same guy was telling the same story <laughs> about how this transport got on loaded after what, it, it was the same over. guy that was one of our instructors yes you remember that he told me about it. oh yes his name was uh i don't remember his name colin 
And there were so many red lights down at that time. Well, as far as the instructor that I had, I remember the one, okay, now that you bring it up again. And KSDP was filming it, waiting for it to explode. To see you splattered all over the highway. Yeah. And well, actually, to they see stopped, the ball of flame as you get splattered. They, they stopped the, the traffic. This was down in St. Paul along the river. Mm -hmm. And they stopped the traffic flow. And KSDP was up there with their big camera waiting for it to blow up. And the tow truck driver was up there helping me drill these holes. And he says, do you know what you're doing? And I said, I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't know it was going to be okay. Very nice, what do you call it, patina? Patina? Is it, what, what do you call it when it's aged? When, when it's aged? When an antique is aged and it's got... It, once it's aged and it's got a few years on it, you call it the old wise one. <laughs> I'm wise beyond my years. <laughs> yeah, it's a bench for you. It's old and weathered. <laughs> it's got cracks in it. <laughs> Just a few. Just a few cracks around the eyes, a little bit. Wrinkles. Still got his feet on the floor. Yeah, four feet. <laughs> well, it's two more than he needs. Oh. <laughs> it does. Mm -hmm. It looks nice. No, what do you put? You put another coat of that on, or will you put a finish on that? No, well, that is the finish. It's just that it'll get one more coat, exactly the same as this one. And the second one will be just a little shinier, that's all. And if, if you put a third one on, then there's more shine to it, and a fourth one, there's more shine to it. But it's just the same. It's like the easiest stuff in the world. You, to put you don't on. have to put a seal coat on it. That is the seal coat. Okay, that's the seal coat. You, so it's very, very nice finish, very easy to put on. Yeah. Even I can do it. You did it. <laughs> I helped. That's the best way. You come in after everything's done and built and sturdy, and then you take credit for the finish. Yeah. You said, oh, look what I after did. After he told me how to do it. Yeah, and you say, oh, wow, I'm amazing. <laughs>